What's going on guys? My name is Carl and if you don't know already, I am a reseller on eBay. So today is obviously Sunday, uh, well yesterday was Sunday, and obviously it is time for a car boot and some footage as well. So I did go to three car boot sales today. Two of them were planned, the third one wasn't, um, and I'll go into that a little bit later on. So yeah, um, picked up some really nice things. It was a little bit disappointing. I wanted to pick up a lot more than I did. Uh, I took around about 160, 170 pound and I came back with, I think it was 90 pound. But bear in mind, it was 10 pound to get into the first one, uh, five pound for me and my wife. And then we did also get some food and drink as well when we were there. So didn't get as much stuff as I wanted to do. Um, so I will be looking out on Facebook Marketplace just to see if there's any stuff this week that I can pick up throughout the week to spend that little bit of extra cash and uh, get some more stuff to list. And there's plenty of stuff to, that I've got to list throughout the week. So I am happy with what I got and there's some good kind of profit makers. Um, but I did want to get a little bit more. So obviously the third one um, I did was a little bit of a last minute thing. And it was to go and pick up some trainers. Again, I'll explain that a little bit more. Um, but I did have the privilege of going on the live stream with Closet Geek last night and um, joining with their Carboot Champions. Um, so it was really nice to be on there. So thank you very much for having us. Uh, unfortunately, John Luke couldn't make it. Uh, so I asked someone to step in and I was first. So it was it was really nice to, to be, be on that, basically. So yeah, let's get straight into the intro and then the Carboot. What? Wow. How much have you got in there, mate? Uh, I don't know on that one. What, that one? 15. Does it come with a controller as well, does it? No, it's not. Does it? Will you take 20 on the two? Go on, then. Yeah. I need to realize that we're in. Cheers, mate. How much you got on the controller? Two quid each. Two quid each. Starting with the battery pack. I know there's a few around like I already can't get some of them. Excuse me. How much is this bit? Oh. How much each on the games? Two quid each on the games. What are they? We do five of the two controllers now? Yeah? Alright, go mate. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Now my old for the Xboxes. Right. One, one for the Wii. <laughs> How much are there? Then my uh, four pound each. Right. I said they're never being used. No. Grandson didn't want the money to get them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have you bought the lot? You bought the lot. You can get them for ten pound. I'll have a think. <laughs> Thank you. See what I've got. Hang on, I want to know, mate. Yeah. Yeah, There's blood. Thanks a lot, mate. I just left that over here. Yeah, no. Can you put these? Yes. How much you got in the games, mate? They're 150, the reason that guy going for pound because he bought a lot. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. how much for all that, man? Right, I'll create a deal. Right. 
Dus dat is een voor 50. Dat is 9. Dat is 12. 1 van 9. 9? Oké. Okay. Go on then. Dat is 10 stiek. Hey. 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 Oh, I'll try it about a bag. Got a bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got just a pound change there, mate. Well, just in case you've seen me. You know, no, I didn't actually notice, to be honest. You've spent about 12 quid the first time. Right. <laughs> so if you buy any more, you'll get it for a pound. I'll right, come back right. round anyway. <laughs> I normally come round a couple of times, so. Oh, there you are. Cheers. Right. Looks interesting. Hey. <laughs> Looks very interesting. Oh, you got <laughs> How much you got on the wheel? I think it's about 10 for that Ten one. For that. Yeah. Right. That's a lot of think about it. Thank you. I had them hanging in the conservatory, so they're all, all hooked up, everything, all the um, strings are perfect. They've literally just come round, as I say, she dusted them, because they've been hanging. How much are the slippers? The slippers are £10 a pair, darling, no one's been punished once. Uh, pounds. 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 I took for the control pin. Or is it getting no shoes or How much you got in that? Five. Five. Uh, I got nothing with it. Aye. I think I've Yeah. We do four for it? Yeah. Just <laughs> Oh, hang on. I can't get this right in there. There we go. There you are, thank you very much, cheers. So this is everything that I picked up from the car boot sales um, on Sunday. So I'm going to go through a little bit of what I paid and what I'm hoping to get for them. And um, just everything that I went through. And I, not again, not a massive amount of stuff. Again, there wasn't huge amounts of stuff at the car boot sales. The second one I went to, which was Siam, which... I went to a few weeks ago and it was quite disappointing again it was just disappointing again it's basically just all traders and people who just sell brand new box stuff um for the price that the sell for basically on ebay so it wasn't a massive amount but most of the stuff did come from the first car boot sale i didn't actually record the second car boot sale because i thought i would try and be clever and record the journey of going from one car boot sale to the other and i've decided not to use that in the video and my camera died, so <laughs> unfortunately there is no um, footage of the second car boot sale. But yeah, so this is um, everything that I got. So we'll start over here. Um, these were all from the first car boot sale. So these are the PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360 games. So I got Crash. Uh, all the PlayStation 2 games here I paid £9 for. And I mean this one I'm hoping to get around about £8, £9 for, although it is quite... Uh, no, sorry, six pounds. Sorry, although it is quite damaged, so it might affect the value a little bit. And then we've got the double disc, Pure and Batman. I haven't actually checked this one. That's alright. Oh, that needs to go through the JFJ, and I've got both of the manuals there. Um, I've got Tekken. I might actually keep that for myself because I love Tekken. Spyro. Um, Amy actually picked this one up because she loves Spyro and Crush Bandicoot. Star Wars, uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, Resident Evil 4. Now this guy that I got these from had two of these and I kind of wish I picked up both of them now because they sell for quite good money. 
Need for Speed, and then this one here, which you would have seen in the video, um, Grand Theft Auto 5, which I picked up with the two extra boxes that I'll show you in a sec. Actually had a PlayStation 4 game in, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and also Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, this is just the install disc, but again with the install discs, if you've only got the install disc, oh, that needs a good clean as well. <laughs> uh, if you've just got the install discs, I normally get around about six pound to six pound fifty for them, and they sell all day long as well. I've actually got a couple more I need to put them with that as well. So a nice little tip there: if you find a Grand Theft Auto and it's only got the install disc in, still pick it up if it's a good price because it'll still sell. So that was the games on that one. Oh. Now they just smashed a mug. And then, as you would have seen, I got two Xbox 360s, uh, £10 each. He was originally wanting 25 And I bought from him before, and I normally always only pay £10 each. So I think he was just trying to be cheeky. <laughs> so I got these two, and plus two controllers, which I'm currently cleaning. So that's why they're not on the table. And I paid £25 for everything. So it was the two controllers, this game, and the two Xboxes. Now, these do need... Um, hard drives unfortunately for some reason the Xboxes I always buy from him never come with hard drives so if anyone's got three Xbox 360 slim hard drives they want to sell drop us a message on Instagram because I'll snap them off your hands if you sell them at a good price <laughs> so coming down here I decided to go for, again, something a little bit different, something I don't normally pick up so I went for some mugs and these look pretty old and retro vintage lucky kind of mug so i thought uh, why not pick them up 50 pence each two pound investment can't go wrong i haven't actually looked these ones up yet but this one is a um, monitoring death monitoring club 1960 to 1990 it's quite an old one there hoping to get around about 10 to 12 pound for that uh brasso so metal polish retro mug Vintage. I don't know if it is actually old or if it's just made to look old, but I'll have a look and see what that comes up with. This Jones sewing machine club thing um, again looks really old, and I think this one is really old. I looked online on this one, there's nothing on line which is the same as this, but there is a thimble um, with the same. Like kind of look on it and that's going for around about 12 to 15 pounds so I might try and get around about that for the mug and then I got this Redskins um, NFL mug as well I don't know, it says there that it's 1972 but I don't actually know if that's the, yeah it was produced or not or if that's just what is written on it but yeah again I haven't looked that one up unfortunately then picked up this, this was at the second car boot sale, picked up this Casio um, science calculator, which sold really well, unfortunately dead, so I need to put, try and put a new battery in it. Um, but if that works, it's around about ten, fifteen pound calculator. It was only fifty pence, so can't go wrong with that. <coughs> Sorry if I keep coughing. I've got a bit of a something in my throat today. Then we've got this, uh, which is the Minecraft box set handbook. Um, so it's basically just some books with how to do things on Minecraft basically so it just teaches you the different things that you can do and they go for around about 22 to 25 pounds and in the condition of this one obviously with the, the little bits at the top I'm going to aim for around about the 22 pound mark I only pay like it was 30 pence for this this lady was selling all of our books off 30 pence each and I asked her if that included this and she said yes so nice little one there and then at the second card, we still again got this Bobbit Extreme, and that was, I believe, one or two pounds. Does work. Um, I was a little bit dubious about it because when I got there, I tried to play it and it didn't work. And they said, oh, it's definitely working. And just people have been playing with it all day. And I thought, hey, right, whatever. <laughs> um, but I've put some batteries in. There's no rust or anything on the connectors. And uh, yeah, so that should go for around about 17. Oh, steady tiger. Then at the first car boot sale, I do apologise for I keep dropping in between the both. Just easier to do it this way. <laughs> I got this Sony little handheld radio. 
it's pretty much brand new i don't think it's ever been used it did have some batteries in no battery corrosion thankfully because this goes for around about 20 to 25 pound and i think i paid around about three pound for it then the second card wheel again i got this um which is a uh, logitech <coughs> sorry um webcam paid one pound for this box is a little bit damaged so it will affect the value slightly uh, i've seen them go for around about eight nine pound but there is some listed for around about nineteen pounds so i'm probably gonna go for around about twelve to fifteen pound just see how i get on with that then the fail of the day um is this here so this is a manual coffee grinder i think i paid up for this at about three pound and it only sells for about 9.99 so not a massive amount of profit in it i mean obviously it'll still sell still make some profit from it um but i was hoping it was going to be worth a lot more than it is actually worth i know the vintage and stuff ones they tend to go for a little bit more uh, but unfortunately this one's more of a modern one so it doesn't go for as much then for two t-shirts i got two 11 degrees t-shirts i got these for one pound each and these sell for around about 12 to 15 pound each and then obviously i don't know if you've seen last night um i was on closet geeks live stream uh so he does a little competition every week of who has the best things and stuff like that and one of the categories this week was best shoes um now john luke couldn't make it to that one so he asked if i would jump in well he asked a few people and i think i got there first um so i said yes and when i seen that the trainer category was in there i rushed out to go to another car boot sale uh, which i obviously didn't film because i just went there to look for some shoes i didn't actually look for anything else i literally just looked for shoes because we had been out all day and we just wanted to get home to be honest so ended up picking up a really nice buy and you've probably already seen it on the live stream and probably already seen it in the pictures so i don't know why i'm hiding them from you <laughs> but these were five pound and uh, no sorry four pound for these the guy who sold them to us he must have been i don't know i think he was either drunk i just didn't know who he was or something like that um because he was just throwing like really really cheap prices out at people you know, i think i've seen someone pick up something that's worth like 300 pound for like two pound or something like that but yeah the, the prices were crazy cheap now you didn't have that much um but these shoes were there and these are nike uh, air max uh, the basic like, gear pride 2019 one and these go for around about 100 160 brand new um, but i mean these are in really nice condition probably only been worn a couple of times so actually already sold um amy's little brother who is absolutely mad about trainers spends a ridiculous amount of money on trainers uh, he's paid me 50 pound for these and he's going to take them uh, so obviously i could have got more on ebay but i like to help family out so if he wants them i let him have them for 50 he did offer me more uh, but i wouldn't take it off him so 50 pound straight in them so i can now give them to him now i've videoed them then the last thing i did get uh, actually there's two more things i got so i've got this um keyboard which is a yamaha keyboard paid four pound for it because she wasn't sure if it was working or not because she didn't have any of the leads have tested it with batteries and it works perfectly fine i just need to try and find a uh, power supply and see if that works and pop that with it so four pound into around about 30 pound so it's not too bad on that one and then i did also pick up some um cables for a Wii, so Nintendo Wii, so I've got the power brick, the AV cables, and the sensor bar uh, for three pound. So that's just basically going to be for spares if I ever pick up a Wii without one. Um, I could, probably could sell them by themselves and get a little bit of profit off that, but I prefer to keep it, and it always comes in handy if you need them. So again, as always, if there's anything in there that you've seen that I should have possibly picked up, let me know in the comments because I always love to learn uh, new things and about new things. There's quite a few things like the mugs that I picked up, which I wouldn't normally pick up. And that's just so I can get a little bit of a better understanding of more things, basically. Um, because I don't tend to go for the stuff that look 
where it may be quite expensive because I've got nothing to do, like no idea about it. So I tend not to pick it up and just go for the stuff that I'm comfortable with. Yeah. But I do need to start picking up things where I, I'm not comfortable with and learning about them as well. So, I mean, this was a £2 investment. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll sell them for more than 50 pence each. So we'll see. So thank you very much again for watching. Please do consider subscribing if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one.